Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. We finished Ground Zeroes uh, last time, uh, where we did the last episode was the Deja Vu and the Jamais Vu missions, uh, which was just an incredible time. Loved my time in Ground Zeroes, as short as it was in that little like sandboxy adventure. But we are now going to be getting into uh, the full game. So we've done the prologue chapter of Metal Gear Solid 5. The Phantom Pain. And now we're going to get into the real thing. So let's answer no to this question. Because we want to go straight into the real deal. I literally just don't even know what to expect. Uh, let's like let's go over some points. Where are we at? Um, they literally get you invested in characters in Peace Walker uh, extensively. To like characters like Paz and Chico um with that whole thing and they go out in the first mission of ground zero is gone helicopter explosion Paz had a second bomb inside of her chico had literal literal metal bolts in the back of his foot preventing him from walking um hole drilled into his chest uh like dude was dude was gone questionable uh questionable tapes in the chico files as well as what exactly uh, went down between uh, Chico, Paz, and Skullface. Very interesting stuff. Um, pretty dark. <laughs> yep, not stuff you'd really want to put on in front of a family. Um, and that just really, they're really just nailing the point home of like, this is going to be pretty grim. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, that, like, surgery... <clears throat> That surgery scene uh, was not <laughs> not pleasant to watch, um, but let's jump in because I want to see what the hell happens nine years later. So 1984 is going to be where this is set, um, and something that I actually love is we have Metal Gear Solid 3, 1964, um, Peace Walker, 1974, and then Metal Gear Solid 5. 1984 it almost makes me wish that there was like a pretty consistent like <laughs> 1994 2004 and then there is 2014 for metal gear solid 4 because uh you know they decided to have uh metal gear solid 1 take place in 2005 it's like oh so close could have been 2004 and then it would have just been like every 10 years uh there's a there's like a story to tell and i actually i actually love that there's approximately Sort of like that 10 years in between. Um, we're going to find out what happened after this ruse of a nuclear inspection because uh, Skullface and his and his uh, goons were there. They flew over there to wreck them up because Chico gave up their position. Um, he talked, unfortunately. And so Chico and Paz are gone. Mother base is destroyed. Um... Snake has lost uh, his left arm. This is going purely off what we've seen from that little teaser that shows at the end of the Ground Zeroes mission, um, where Snake has been in a coma for nine years. Um, the world is gonna. Uh, the world would have moved on without him uh, in these in these nine years, which is absolutely insane to see what happens in his absence. Um, because there's characters like what happened to Miller, because we know that Miller is still alive. Miller didn't die in the helicopter because he lives to the events of Metal Gear Solid, where he is uh, killed by an unknown assailant in his home. Uh, we know Huey is alive in some capacity because he has to also be the father of uh, of Otacon, of Hal. Uh, so he's Huey's going to be around somewhere, wherever he's popped up. Um, whatever he's been doing. My assumption, based on what we know from the nuclear inspection and um, the Ground Zero's events, is maybe Huey was in Metal Gear Zeke on the bottom of the ocean, and that's how he gets away from the Mother Base explosion. So maybe we'll have to like reunite there. Something else will something else will happen. Um, so I'm assuming we'll be seeing Miller. I will be seeing Huey, um, considering it, Christopher Randolph's voice did appear in the credits of Ground Zeroes, but he was in a briefing file, so, um, Ocelot, 
do we have a, do we are we gonna have an ocelot appearance we've had ocelot in metal gear solid one two and four and three in the past so you know he's been in every main titled game he was not in portable ops and he was not in peace walker i was actually genuinely genuinely surprised he was not in peace walker um not even as a post credits like phone call or anything um so i'm wondering if we're going to get more uh ocelot i would love to get um i really loved i really loved ocelot um in metal gear solid 3 and loved um loved the younger take on the character you know a bit more like a bit more energetic you know instead of um i liked both i liked both voices for for ocelot actually i liked the older gruff ocelot loved him in metal gear solid 4 but i also loved the younger take so that was really cool um who else is around at this point in time zero paramedic sigint are they around are we going to see cypher in the flesh are we going to see the beginning of the patriots we're going to see like the the evil the evil side of these characters where you know how they start in metal gear solid 3 how they end up around the events of metal gear solid where there was where you know paramedic turns into dr clark and uh you know all of that kind of stuff, being responsible for the Sons of Big Boss and the Leon Font Terribes project, uh, which has been long since abandoned at this point um, in time. It's just there's just there's just so much information, so many characters, um, and I can't wait to see how it's all going to go and uh, experience it for myself and share it all with you guys. So I have literally talked at you um, for long enough. I think these, when we get into a new game that's a Metal Gear Solid game, these sort of longer intros are a little bit warranted, considering the fact that there's just, like, a lot to take in, a lot to get into, and I, you know, I just want to share my love for this game series with you. Being a f new fan of the series over the past, like, seven months now, I started the first Metal Gear Solid game. It's, it's crazy to think that it's been that amount of time from the first game to now um also young campbell he appeared in portable ops in the green berets which was really funny to see are we going to see young campbell in kojima's canon i don't know maybe we could um i just and i want actually no i really hope i hope we get to see the sons of big boss as children i want to see it they would be um they would be Preteens, they would be re really close to being in their teens at this point, actually, because I think it was 1972. I'm pretty sure it was 1972 where the sons of Big Boss were born. So they would be 12 years old. And Solidus would be somewhere there as well. I, I, I don't know. Are we going to see Solidus? Maybe, maybe not. Are we going to see solidus and and jack raiden as the child soldier there's literally like so many so many things that we could be that we could be getting into um, and exploring in this game and i want to keep my expectations in check because i don't actually expect those things that i've just mentioned to appear they are just my thoughts of what we could potentially see <clears throat> and if we saw them it would be an incredible way to round everything out but um you know as we do know we are aware of the drama that kojima was booted from konami um and the the drama and then they were like huh, metal gear survive and then kind of the franchise is kind of a bit in the toilet at the moment there's no more metal gear solid after this um some people say that's a good thing some people would like more some people are like this game is unfinished um so i'm gonna see just how unfinished this game is um and we're going to we're going to jump in after uh after a long intro I do apologize but i'm passionate about my metal gear uh so we're going to jump straight in to the phantom pain guys let's fucking Get into it. This is a work of fiction, guys. Remember. Mayday! Mayday! Controls unresponsive. Tower, do you read? Shit. Comms are down. Ah, uh, this is the end of Ground Zeroes. This is Mother Base in flames. I think. That's the pause explosion. 
It is no nation we inhabit, but a language. Make no mistake, our native tongue is our true fatherland. Just another day in a war without end. Out of heaven. I'm genuinely curious about how this game is going to start. I'm assuming it was going to continue based on the teaser of like, Ahaha, you've just woken up nine years later, friend. Um, let's catch you up. From the man who sold the world. Is this going to play the song? Oh. Probably didn't recognize him because of the red arm. Is it going to play a, a is it going to play a copyrighted song right now because I recognize this song title? Yes it is. Okay. Amazing. Oh, you're going to choose this song. I love this song. There's three versions of this song actually and I love all three of them. Keith Sutherland, there he is. Um, there's a David Bowie, which is the original. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the this version's artist. Um, starts with an M, Midger, Ur, or something like that. And then um, Kurt Cobain did a unplugged cover in uh, in the 90s. So there's like David Bowie, this one, and Nirvana. Troy Baker is in this game. Troy Baker just couldn't stay away. We're going to recognize his voice straight away, I bet. I'm going to have to uh, mute out this music. Christopher Randolph, there he is. I'm going to have to mute out the music or at least tone it down when I'm not talking uh, because of the goddamn copyrighted nature of uh, music like this on YouTube. I'm so sorry because I, I want to have the complete experience, music and all, with you guys. That's why I know that Death Stranding is going to be an issue because people have told me how much licensed music is in that game. Laurie Allen. Vanessa Marshall. What the fuck? Interesting. And Time Winters. I don't know who that is. Uh, Tara Strong. Uh, Laurie Allen. Uh, excuse me. Don't do that. You're not going to pull the boss on us again, are you? <laughs> the obsession with the boss is... Uh, the obsession with the boss is strong. Idroid, Donna Burke, yes, the Idroid, which by the way comes out of the PlayStation speaker um, and um, cannot be turned off. Oh, uh, cannot be, it cannot be turned off. It speaks through the this controller, and I've looked in the settings, um, and I can't change that. Um, the PS4, you could. Uh, the PS5 seems to be uh, lacking the option to do that. I also wish that I wasn't having to talk over the music right now. I hope you understand that I am taking in what is being shown to me while also talking over the music. It's just so there's not like this really awkward period of an extended mute. Um, but it's very interesting. So we're actually getting, we're actually getting the wake up. He was slowly, slowly rising from our, from our long, long slumber. Hello. Hello, it's me. I'm awake now. I really need a pee. I really need a. I really need to go pee. Give back some. Oh, not English. And no subtitles. I wonder if that's because it's not English. <laughs> Thank you. She removed the copyrighted music for me. She's a real one. Thank you so much. Now I can stop talking. <laughs> <clears throat> v has come to V has come to V has come to V has come to no subtitles um like metal gear solid v has come to or are they talking about person in bed has come to because they're awake now 
Snake has come to. Alright, let's press the options button. Let's make sure we got these subtitles on. That's for sure. Um, that is always the very first thing. Chicken hat. Oh, actually, no, sorry, guys. I forget. Subtitles is not the first thing we turn on. It's the chicken hat. Uh, set, set whether to use the chicken hat after restarting from a checkpoint after following a game over. If you use the chicken hat, enemies will not detect you, even if you enter their field of vision up to three times, but it will limit your mission completion rank to an A or below. Um, at one point, we have to do that, but not for now. Uh, this is the reflex uh, mode, which is when you get spotted, it does the slow-mo. I actually really like it. Um, I am going to keep it on, but I also will... Uh, maybe as I improve or get used to the gameplay, we can like we can turn it off. Um, set the game to start up next. Okay, I'll we'll continue with the Phantom Pain. That's fine. Um, display settings will be what we want. Set whether the iDroid audio guidance plays. I'm going to turn that off because it's just going to come out of my controller speaker and I can't hear it anyway. Uh, sorry, Donna Burke. Um, subtitle. Foreign only, we will have everything. Uh, score display, sure. Trial record, sure, sure, yep. We'll keep everything, we'll keep all the icons on. Fiddle around later. Um, let me just bump up the, the speed slightly. Control settings, um, two slot, right stick. Horse controls. Vibration controller speaker. Wait a minute. Oh, so I just have it off here. Maybe ground zeros was the problem? In that case, hold on. In that case. Donna Burke, you're back. We'll, we'll see how we go. Hopefully it pops up in my ears. Um, which one was... I just want to have the same controls as Ground Zeroes, which I believe is action type, so we'll keep that. Perfect. Let's start the game. Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm struggling with my struggling with my voice today. Um, the Phantom Pain. Please no more licensed music, just keep it for the intro only. Prologue Awakening. Excuse Is he saying excuse me? Excuse me. Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Chief, we're gonna need you to look at the top light. Now look at the bottom one. Now look at the top one again. Look up, please. Look at the top light. Now look at the bottom one. <clears throat> Very good. How do you feel now? Can you speak? What is your name? When were you born? Can you recall? There's a there's a Union Jack. Oh, okay. We're entering our own stuff. Interesting. Um, there's a Union Jack on the wall, but they're they've got an accent. They're also speaking a foreign language, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Enter my name. Um, my name's uh, my name's David, guys. Uh, David Hader. Um, and I was born on um, this day in honor of David. Good. Now then, please try to relax. There is plenty of time. Are you sure about that? I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. 
Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. 1984. It's been nine years. Damn it! Nosokoma! 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 Nurse! Calm down. Calm down. Try not to panic. 1984 on the calendar. Try not to panic. You'll be all right. Did. Is Miller in the bed next to us? How do you feel? Has he also been in a nine year coma? Dude, the graphics look incredible! The graphics are so good. It's like, been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Like, look at their faces! Oh my god. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you must be alive. No, I wanted to listen. Nine years ago, you were injured. I wanted to listen to the radio. In an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Oh, dude, pause. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Peace in the heart and mind. Look at this. Oh. The, the fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see it with your own eyes. Be brave. <laughs> no, Sakoma! Grigor! Try to calm down! Calm down! Please! Calm down! It's gonna be okay! Yes! Yes! Calm down! Dude, he's snakes fucked. Miller must not have had anything similar because they're giving so, us so much attention. Is Miller behind there? And behind the curtain! Miller! It's true. There are those who wish he would never woken up. You should be dead, but you're not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. What? Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. What? It's a wide open world out there. So there's something we need to take care of first. Just give me like a little fake moustache. We'll be okay. Oh, there he is. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. What you look like, however...
Um, what? What? Snake, what happened? Snake! What? This isn't... Something's wrong here, dude. What the fuck? Have, have I just been bamboozled with, like, another Kojima trick where he advertises you playing as Snake, but then he goes, ha-ha, Raiden's the main character, and then he advertises Metal Gear Solid Five as you playing as, as Big Boss. Man's literally on the front cover, but then, ha-ha, I tricked you. You're actually getting plastic surgery now, and you look like this guy. What the fuck? Is this, or is this some weird way of like jamming in some Metal Gear Online stuff like in, in the main story? Of like, oh, quick, make your Metal Gear Online character. What do you mean he's gonna alter my appearance? That looks like Sam Witwer. It's literally Sam Witwer. Um, part of me thinks that this is a Metal Gear Online thing. There's no way, there's no way that we are changing the appearance, right? Where am I? This is a weird dream. Um, I have a feeling that I am being completely bamboozled right now. There's, there's no fucking way. Falcon Raven. Are there any, like, cool Metal Gear-related tattoos that are, like, um, references to stuff? Or are they all just going to be basic? Ugh. Oh, and then they're just the white versions. Okay. Hey, look, it's me. I'm the real skull face. Oh, these are all kind of lame. I always love putting scars on my on my characters in character creation scars are cool guys do a s scar on my face in uh in honor of um the boss i would just uh no can i do anything else yeah hairstyle can i have like facial hair fuck yeah i can what oh facial hair style Mutton chops, baby. Oh, they, I hate it when they're scared to give you a full beard. Come on, guys. I need one of these, please. <coughs> That's a little better. That's a little better. That's better. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You got eyebrows that are just massive. All right. That looks good to me. Can I wear glasses give me glasses no no accessories no accessories all right uh it's cool snake is now getting turned into me why the fuck are we getting plastic surgery we have to be unrecognizable or we'll get killed before we get out of here what the fuck he changed my face very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. Imagine if we just literally put ourselves in the character creator and you just made your face look exactly like Big Boss and then just said, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should have done. We should have crafted... Uh, big boss again. <laughs> God damn it. Or we could have made ourselves look like Zero. There's, there's just so many possibilities. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Sir! Sir! The nurse has just been murdered. It's 
too late. Change my face back. <sighs> Mila. This is you, as you've lived until oh. today. What the fuck? Tomorrow, it becomes... Phantom. Oh yeah, cool. Awesome. Ooh, look at my eye, dude, without the eye patch. For a second, I thought our face had already changed in the mirror because we had like similar facial hair. I'm actually so glad this has happened. Thank you, you've saved my life, random soldier. You saved me from plastic surgery. Not yet. The patient in the next bed saw my face. Of course, consider it done. The next bed? Is it Miller? It's gotta be. What the fuck is happening? Did I just witness, dude? What the fuck did I just witness? What the fuck did I just witness? Yeah, he threw a flammable liquid on her. Oh, you could have maybe done a close range one instead of... Oh. That's right, more fire is worse. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman, I, we gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news, the world wants you to <laughs> On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick me up? Okay. Here. No. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Ishmael is Keith of Sutherland. You're talking to yourself, he says. Is that just a is that just a joke? 
are they are they just doing a joke did they just do that for a joke they were like oh keith uh we need you to also voice the tutorial character who's going to be in the bed next to you who's not master miller unfortunately ishmael who's been watching over me for nine years who are you who am i you're talking to yourself what the fuck Dude, the fact that the flowers are the flowers, that scene where he's putting his, his little arm up as it goes by is actually quite beautiful. Gotta, gotta pay your tribute to the, pay your tribute to the boss right at the beginning of the game. Ooh. So I can see a butt. That was brutal. We're getting out of here. Move it. Mm, I'm confused. I love that he's just like up and moving. Let's take the stairs. Come on, let's move. Me literally crawling. Let me get a look at this guy. Snake, what happened to you? Get up. I love that we can see his butt crack through the through the garbs. I don't know, maybe Kojima was like, this scene has to be like super secretive, we don't want it to leak, so we'll just use one voice actor. Except that actually doesn't make sense because the nurse and the doctor are also included. So they're like, ah, my thought process was like, maybe they just wanted to use the same voice actor for this scene to like minimize potential like, I don't know, like a leak? They're like, we don't want to know how the game starts. This is def- that's definitely Kiefer. Buddy, I'm crawling here. You need a- you need a wait. I want to take in this environment, but I can't because I am on the floor. Come on. I mean, come on. I'm- I'm trying here. I predicted... I gave my prediction... Oh no. I gave my predictions for so many things and characters that I was like, can we see this character? I would have never in a million years said Psycho Mantis. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? It was like Psychomantis, but tiny. This is Volgan. What the fuck? That looks like Volgan. Where the fuck am I? What the hell is going on? What is this fever dream? Okay, it's all a dream. It's a nightmare. That's why he's got his own voice in his head. You're talking to yourself because this is a dream. We're going to wake up, and everything's going to be fine, and it'll be 1964 all over again, and the boss will wake up Snake and be like, Snake, 
What do you mean? What do you mean, virtuous mission? It's just you and me, Snake. We're just hanging out. Being the masters of CQC together. There's no such thing as a virtuous mission. Major Zero? What a ridiculous name. That doesn't exist. It's just the boss and... And you, John. No one else. That's what's gonna happen, guys. Good, let's hurry. That's my that's my wild theory. His big boss is gonna wake up after having like this huge intense nightmare of like what would happen if the boss died. And he lost the woman that he loved. And he's like, oh fuck. I had this really intense, crazy fucking dream. Recounts all of the f future games. And then Big Boss says, you're crazy. That's why Laurie Allen's in the game, guys. Hold up, let's fix this. That's why Laurie Allen's in the game. Oh my god, it's making the low health noise. Survival viewer! Next time, do it yourself. It's always good to try and mend your injuries while hiding from the enemy. Over there. That's why Laurie Allen's voice is in this game, guys. She's gonna wake us up from this dream. It was all a nightmare. Alright, am I up and moving now? Properly? Yes, good. This way, hurry. Ishmael, you were on fire, buddy, before. You stopped, dropped, and rolled really well. Keep low and quiet. Well, I've got a metal arm. It's a bit loud. It might alert somebody. Dude, this dude, wrong person. Help me, please. Holy shit, man. This is like one of the best openings. What the fuck? Here! Over here! 
Nope, you're going to get shot and killed. Thank you, tutorial, Keith of Sutherland. Here they come, hurry. Don't get caught in those searchlights. Action cover, eh? Um, it told me to press the button on the touchpad. Don't that's you die on me. <laughs> uh, the Ahab! 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 <laughs> it's it's no longer snake. I'm Ahab. Ahab. Um, it says. Let me check the controls, right? Because that was wrong. Control type. Yeah, it's that's pause. So why was it? Because if I go up on... Yeah, it's, I automatically go up against walls. Don't get caught in those searchlights. Here they come, hurry. Move! Fuck, man. L3 to dash. Why? Nice, they've added a sprint into the game. That's awesome. The hell's this guy? I'm following Ahab. Yep. <laughs> yep. I was like, I'm following Ahab. I'm not going up there. I mean, sorry, I'm following Ishmael. Oh, shit, man. Did he just. Oh, he did. Come on. I wish I saw that. I was too busy looking around. They did maintain my muscle mass, but I'm a bit, I'm a bit skinny. I'm pretty, I'm pretty skinny. Look at that. <laughs> I'm like so weird. And my eye. It's so cool to actually see, um, Come on. Big Boss's eye underneath the patch. happening out there it's all right we'll oh shit we just lost Do you we hear just that? lost him What's going on out there? It's, okay. it's not that dude we saw him there before it's not the dude with the head bandage hey. Hey. no 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 it's 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 not him he went off the other way oh it, <laughs> nope not him. Dude, there's a door to the left. There's a door to the left. There we go. Yeah, I was like, come on. I knew that it wasn't you, Ishmael. It's just another dude with a convenient head bandage and a butt crack. Me? I'd know that butt crack anywhere. That's that's Ishmael's butt crack if I've ever seen one. This is incredibly engaging. Like, 
Holy shit, man. Like, this is fucking nuts. I like that it goes into, like, a first-person view when you're in Crouch. Just like it used to. Uh, I guess they're standing there, so I'm gonna go... Where the fuck did Ishmael go? Alright, you're right there. Oh, shit. Oh, God, they're moving now. They're... Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, God. That dude's looking, like, right at me. Yep. I was like, that dude's looking right at me, so I'm gonna get seen. Ahab! 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 Um. Holy shit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. About. Uh. No cutscenes. This whole introduction has been a big ass. Big ass cutscene. Ooh, we can hide under the beds. Yeah, we'll hide under the beds for when they, uh, for when they come in. Alright, they're shooting the people on the beds, so we'll just hide under the beds and then we'll be fine. Jesus, man. Ahab, what are you gonna do? I mean, I keep getting Ahab and Ishmael mixed up, fuck's sake. Um, Ishmael. I guess he would do- he would do CQC. Come on, you gonna get his gun? Buddy, you're next. Here we go. Oh, he goes under the bed. Wow, and he fucking quickly snuck back under as it collapsed. Dude, the soldiers in this are the most threatening, the, the most threatening soldiers that we've ever gone up against. Like, this is ruthless, dude. God, could you imagine a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1? in this engine. Obviously the whole saga as well, but like... Metal Gear Solid 1 specifically? Like, holy fuck, what they could do. Anything? Negative. He came in here, keep looking. It's not letting me move. It's not letting me move. All right, it's letting me move. Oh no, no, no! It automatically enters. Blend in with the bodies. Get down on your stomach and crawl. Oop! Almost put my face in. Um... If you move, we're done for. Play dead. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I thought it, I thought it would put my head down. Remember, Metal Gear Solid Four is the only one that's like you've been able to pr you've been able to prone and like properly put your head down to fully blend in with the Octo camo. You know. Um, are we screwed right now? They're literally just shooting the ah. <laughs> Dude, they're literally checking bodies. They're checking all of them. We're, we're literally not even covered in blood. I love how Ishmael says don't move and the dude fucking moved. What? 
they shot every single body except for the ones that weren't covered in blood. Ishmael. Ishmael. You just pissed yourself. Oh. He didn't. <gasps> Ahab, you just moved! Oh, fuck. What the fuck is happening, dude? Okay. Okay. So that's not just an illusion, that's a literal real. It's a real thing. Dude, you've got an RPG. Oh, he absorbs it. My leg. Okay, maybe that's not like a Vulgan thing then. He got a bunch of spikes in his face. Dude's the literal devil. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? That looks like the sneaking suit. Part of the sneaking suit. Like the legs? The legs look like the... It's got like that where the gold ring on the sneaking suit would usually be. Dude, that guy tanked RPGs and missiles, man. What are you doing? What the fuck is this? This is so bizarre. Disappeared. What the hell is that? We are we are definitely in a nightmare. There's no way. <laughs> what the hell is happening? I'm so confused. Hold on. We better stop and treat that injury. Oh. Guys, were any of you as confused as me? I've got blue blood on my face. What the fuck is going on? I got a bunch of blue shit on me. I low-key like love that that um the bandana like the bandage on his head is similar to the to the bandana. Oh no, everything's just a weird color scheme now. Okay. Everything's fucking blue for some reason. I'm thoroughly confused. Classic Kojima. We'll have to take the stairs down. What the fuck was that thing? We've got like a tiny Psycho Mantis with a towering flaming giant dude that looks like he's got the physique of Vulgan, but then like, I'm trying to figure out the outfit. Dude, a lot's happened in nine years. 
A lot of fucking crazy shit. What an introduction, hey? Like, yeah, it's nine years later, and also... And also all of this. Can I have his gun, please? Thank you. Hold the aim button to aim. Boom. <laughs> You're pretty good. Yeah, you're actually doing some gameplay stuff. I'm finding it really strange. Um, he's just, he's not saying, he's not saying anything in response, which is super weird. He's getting asked all these questions. Man is not even responding with anything back. Ooh, SMG. You'd think that. You think we'd have a bit more to say about, like, what the fuck is going on, guys? It's been nine years. Fill me in. Where's Miller? What the hell's going on? I guess, uh... Big Boss is just looking, you know, he's just taking everything in. Unlike me, who can't shut the fuck up. Because I'm just so excited. Big Boss is not excited. He is uh, understandably probably a little bit shaken from a nine-year coma. I'll run interference. <laughs> Ishmael going loud. Sir, you mind doing me what you're doing, jumping off that staircase? Sir, going loud mode. Boom! <laughs> Reflex, I actually should have probably done the stealth option. I kind of want to start again. I've made a huge mistake. Everyone just fighting me. Nah, I, hold on. I, we, can, we can do this, but better. It tells us how many hits we've taken. That's interesting. I just also realized what the pressing the pause thing is when it tells us to do stuff is it's um, the tips down the bottom here is what it's telling us to do, which makes sense. That's kind of annoying. I kind of wish that pop-up would go away. Can we shoot the tanks? No, you can't shoot the tanks. I was like, will the tanks blow up? Dude. We just lost, we just lost Ishmael. Beep. Beep. In sequence, baby. In sequence. It's got like, has it got an auto aim? Is that what's happening? Kind of, yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a bit of an auto aim happening. First person view, baby. Oh no, I can't see through the smoke. There we go. Are they seeing me from all the way over there? Oh, that's a shame. Cool. We're good. I just realized that I'm shooting this gun um, with a little fucking hook hand. Amazing. Man's pretty good at reloading. <laughs> okay, where the hell did Ishmael go? 
We probably could have stealthed our way out of here, to be honest, without having to kill people. But, you know, it is what it is. Are we just going out the front door? Where did, uh... Yeah. Alright, I guess Ishmael... Left. I hope. There he is. Dude, this is fucking insane. What in the in the psycho mantis? What in the psycho mantis is happening here? Fuck do I get out of here? The main entrance is blocked. The main entrance is blocked. It's literally like he's walking over me as if he knows where I am. Does he know where I am? I think he knows where I am. Yep, he knows where I am. He just, he just knows where I am. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna leave. Uh, I don't know where, but there's so many doors and... Holy fuck, man. Alright, we're going down here. Ooh. That door's on fire. Dude, okay, what the fuck? Oh, hang on. Oh, quick dive. Oh. Nice. Oh, shit. Go, yeah, go. You, you guys take him. I don't want him. I don't know what the, the hell that dude wants, but I don't, I don't want it.
Kojima? What the fuck? This is the longest nightmare sequence I've ever played. <laughs> Just run him over. Uh, Ahab, let's get the hell out of here, boy. We, we got an Ishmael to find. Let's get the fuck out. See you later. Dash for it. We can sprint. <clears throat> oh, fuck. That's another nine years in a coma. <laughs> That's just the second explosion I've been in. Feels like only yesterday. Oh, fuck. You gonna make me shoot this guy? After everything that he's taken. Oh my god. No! Ishmael, dude. Nice. You did what a tank couldn't even do. Actually moved the dude. Get in! Holy fuck, man. the fire brigade arrived just in time. What the fuck? Guys, put your seatbelts on. How much of my time have I spent staring at the screen in disbelief? What the fuck? Ishmael's gone. Oh, 
Oh, yep, yeah, we're upside down. Fuck. Wear your seatbelts, kids. It will save your life. Whatever kind of life that may be. Being protected by Psychomantis? But we're. We're being protected by Psychomantis, but hunted by the flaming titan. What the fuck are we doing? What the hell? Okay, it's time to wake up now. This is the this is the dream is just hitting that point of so surreal it's absolutely crazy that you have that you become self-aware that you're in a dream. Get on. What? On your side. Hurry. Random stranger says jump on my horse as a flaming unicorn with wings. Literal Pegasus. Flaming Pegasus chases you down. What do you say? Yes or no? Use this. Watch our backs. Shoot what it. the fuck? Watch for an opening. Careful, the gun is going to reload. Uh, we're on fire. I'm timing my reloads carefully. You get him? I don't know. Dude literally is kind of like immortal. Nope. When is he about to attack? As if we were struck down by Odin himself. Like, what the fuck? Looks like a similar horse to the bosses. We know it's not the same horse from the events of Peace Walker. Yeah, that was awakening. Awakening. That was one hell of an awakening. What the hell was that? What the hell was that, guys? <laughs> Episode zero, prologue, awakening. Um, I 
have spent so much of this episode talking, and now I am speechless. Surely that was a dream. That was that was just fucked up. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Okay, so Ishmael and Ahab. Uh, Ishmael's been watching over us for nine years. Sounds like Keith Sutherland. You're talking to yourself. Weird tutorial character guy, maybe? And they were like, all right, Keith, just voice two of them for the lols. Um... Psychomantis child, weird flaming titan that can that looks like Volgan, that can turn into a whale, can summon a flaming Pegasus, and absorbs kinetic energy and expels it back out. Hang on, what the fuck? Completed the mission without allowing the man on fire to attack even once. After meeting up with Ocelot? That's Ocelot? I got... I, it has spoiled the introduction to Ocelot in a bonus text. No! They changed the voice actor for Ocelot to... He doesn't even look... I, it's 20 years later, so I'm gonna, obviously he's going to look different. As So obviously I didn't... I, I'm not going to expect that. Obviously, he's going to look different. That's Ocelot? Dude, Ocelot shows up on a horse that looks like his mother's horse. That's awesome. That's cool. Wish that we probably got an actual, hey, I'm Ocelot. Not, I wish I didn't read that. The game put it there. So I have to hate the game for that. <laughs> it should have said meeting up with the stranger. It should have made that a reveal. God damn it. Um, that's insane. That was the prologue to Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. A prologue after a prologue, which was Ground Zeroes. Uh, so I think just for the introduction and because that was so mind blowing, we are going to end this episode here. Uh, we will have the prologue of the Phantom Pain, um, <laughs> For you guys here thank you so much for watching i'm sorry for being so overexcited and confused i hope you guys were just as confused as me when you first played this because i'm a bit lost uh we're now ahab we've just met up with us a lot there's so many things happening uh straight off the bat that just is um I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm convinced that this game is a dream, or the prologue was a dream. The awakening was uh, was a, f a false narrative. We have not yet woken up. <laughs> we'll see how we go uh, when we move into uh, episode one, I assume, uh, will we'll be next. Uh, thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I hope you stick around for this playthrough. I know it's been a, it's been a long time coming, my like seven-month journey of the, the Metal Gear Solid series. Um, so I'll chuck this in just right at the end. Uh, please do consider uh, subscribing. Well, I'd love to have you here. I have so many games that I'm playing so many games that I've been enjoying over the past year and a bit. And uh, it's been a really great time building this community. Uh, so I love your interactions. I love the passion. I love the like comments and all of it. Um, as long as you're positive and not literally being hateful, that's always a plus. Um, hope to see you guys stick around. Thank you so much for watching the first episode of The Phantom Pain, and I will see you next time.